Hello everybody. In this tutorial, I am showing you a mini computer. This computer is called Raspberry Pi as you can see. This is called Raspberry Pi. This is a credit size computer and uh, as like as Arduino board, it has built in some features. As you can see, it has 4 USB port and 40 pin. Actually, this is my Pi 3, Raspberry Pi 3 B plus model. And the amazing thing about this mini computer is, uh, it has audio port, HDMI port, and camera slot also. So, unlike Arduino board, you need not to install uh, Bluetooth figure or Bluetooth feature or USB port or HDMI port, you need not to install. This is uh, in this Raspberry Pi, the all the ports and all the features are, are built in. Okay, and in the back side of the Raspberry Pi, as you can see, a slot for its, its memory, uh, a micro SD card will be its operating system uh, hard drive and if we, if we burn the official operating system of raspberry raspbian in this memory card it will, if we power on this raspberry pi using our mobile phone charger even our mobile phone charger just supplying 2 ampere or uh, more than 2 ampere power supply it will power on okay and using this raspberry pi you can make amazing projects and you can control uh, motor like a step up motor or you can control servo motor as you can see and you can control led and moreover you can make iot based project also so in this tutorial i will show you how to boot this raspberry pi effortlessly that means while booting first time Raspberry Pi, people face a lot of problem like <coughs> uh, some somebody think how to enable SSH or how to headlessly booting. Suppose you have just only this board and you don't have any display or you don't have any monitor. So how could you boot this uh, mini computer and connect to your computer? Okay, this is a question. I will give you an answer. And, and I will explain the full procedure uh, clearly and I think that will make sense and that will help you a lot. All you need just a Ethernet cable, okay? All you need just Ethernet cable and a SD card reader, SD card reader and a memory card, okay? SD card reader and a memory card. So, what we will do? You can connect with your uh, connect this display, this mini computer display with your laptop using various way, such as using serial port or using just Ethernet cable or is a, while booting operating system in this mini computer. You can put your SSID or password in this operating system. Then, if you if you uh, put your memory card here and when, when you will power on this mini computer it will automatically connect it to a Wi-Fi wi network okay this is one procedure but if you connect this Ethernet cable Ethernet port on the slot of the mini computer and another port another int to the router then uh, from the router configuration or IP scanner we will have the IP password IP uh, IP or th IP that means internet protocol ID and then using this internet protocol ID and, and using putty software putty software we can connect via we can uh, we can connect to this Raspberry Pi okay and then after enabling VNC we can we can show our display in our laptop okay so in the all in the uh, all through the procedure I will explain everything clearly so let's go to the computer screen so let's go to the raspberry website 
type a rest query file and as you can see the official Raspberry Pi works outside Raspberry Pi no matter from here you have to go to the download option for downloading operating system of Raspberry N. as you can see the Raspberry N moves and Raspberry N I would like to download this Raspberry app Raspberry N buster with desktop and recommended software or you can download the live version also I need not to download because I have already downloaded this operating system and then the next software you need is VNC viewer okay VNC viewer okay by writing the VNC viewer you need to download VNC viewer from the uh, official website for Windows again I need not to download this because I downloaded already this VNC viewer and then the third software you need party okay EU double TY party so from there you can download uh, party and uh, uh, compared to comparing with your operating system so and another software you need is Rufus for burning your operating system in your SD card okay Rufus as you can see the Rufus for burning your operating system in your SD card you can download from here again I need not to download my this software because I downloaded this earlier so next next what I have to I have to burn operating system in my um, in my SD card then connect then let's connect our SD card to our um, with our card reader So as you can see I have downloaded all the software and I have to run too fast okay, for burning my okay for burning my operating system in my micro SD card. Okay, then I have to select the image. As you can see, I am selecting Raspbian master image. Raspbian master image open, and again I have to select my memory card. It is already selected, and I have to click on start. It will automatically format my memory card, and it will start to writing operating system in my main memory in my micro sd card okay so for time consuming i have to pause my video so as you can see my burning has been completed has been completed has been completed 98 99 okay okay i finally won my operating system in my uh, sd card and then the one important thing to connect my raspberry pi remotely through vnc viewer okay or any other device and even with a mobile phone I must enable SSS okay I must enable SSS so I have to go to this bootable device and I have to make a SSS file SSS text file SSS text document SS, SSS okay SSS text document Okay, this is this is text file, no problem. This is this text file. Okay, so 
So as you can see, I have make SSS, SSS text file here, as you can see. SSS text file here. Then simply remove your uh, SD card and insert into your Raspberry Pi and from our own, then connect to our router. Let's see uh, practical. Let's open the memory card and insert into the SD card slot in our Raspberry Pi. Okay. Then we have to then we have to connect our power supply. Let me a time. Let me give me some time. We have to connect our power supply here. Okay. Okay. And then as you can see, our red light has switched on. And then we have to plug in our another Ethernet cable int to the router. Okay. That's it. Now we have to go to our computer. Thank you. Yes. Then we have to go to our router, and as you can see, I am in my our router. And if you can see here, Raspberry Pi, my IP address. Okay. Then I have to open my booty software, and here I have to write my IP address one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot one zero seven. Okay, then open. Okay, it is saying warning. Don't tense. Don't take tension. Just click as yes and login as it is. It's built in password uh, is built in username is pi. So write here pi and click on enter. And then its built in password is RASPBEWRY Raspberry. Then, as you can see, I am in my Raspberry Pi. Okay. Then, if you uh, then you, to connect VNC server, you need to just write here sudo sudo raspi config. Okay. sudo raspi config. If I sudo recipe config as you can see sudo recipe config okay and then click on enter and you will find the interface like this and then below down click on interfacing options and then in vnc click on enter and then left yes and enter okay and then finish And then finish okay finally you, you have enabled your vnc okay then open your vnc sub vnc viewer and then like type your ip address and then click on enter and continue and your password res plus be double raspberry and click on enter as you can see you have your interface of your raspberry Pi. okay okay and click on enter and it will automatically target it if you don't want then cut everything hmm. it, it is taking a little bit time actually for updating updating software don't then take this and in your router in, in your wi-fi option you can click on your password and then you can connect mouse in Okay, then okay, and finally, it's automatically connected to my Wi Fi. Then, in the next time, you need not any Ethernet cable, you will need not any um, anything to connect your Raspberry Pi, just power on it and, and check your IP 
and then it will be automatically connected to your uh, connected to your and uh, connected to your PNC server. Thank you all for today. Uh, as you can see, this is my this is my Raspberry Pi interface. Okay, and here you can program, you can set a sound, or you can you, you have the terminal, and you can control your motor. You can control your LED, or you can control anything as you want. So thank you for today. Uh, thank you for staying with me. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.